Hey guys, Emperor here, playing some more Diablo 3 uh, Ultimate Evil Edition. This is part 2 of my adventure mode on my wizard. So in the first one I showed you so, uh, a bounty, and in this one um, I am on the final bounty on the map. Uh, if you look here you can see I have 4 or 5 stamped, and I'm in the zone for the 5th one right now. Whoops. Alright, anyways. So we're going to do this bounty. And then we will uh, look at the rift. Still using my broken weapon. Just for the sake of uh, doing this quickly. Shit. I'm badly wounded. I become more powerful. So just five more enemies. This bounty should be complete, I guess. Not ready yet. Didn't already say five more enemies. Okay, I guess that was them. All right, so let's uh, make sure. Oh. I am returning. Uh, okay, let's go. So we're gonna go turn this in. See the prize for uh, completing all five on a map. Deeds should be rewarded. Please take this. You have finished all the bounties here, but more await you in other lands. Okay, so it gave us a Herodric cash, which. Here it is. Oh. Got a present for a friend. Okay, Roger Crash. Here we go. Anyways, some Rift uh, Keystone Fragments. You get the idea. Alright, so that's Bounties. Now for the rift. Brave the rifts, and you will be well rewarded. So, usually you gotta clear a bunch of dudes, and then uh, you get to fight the rift guardian. Need more time. Not ready yet. So 
some of these rifts can be pretty large. My friend and I were in one earlier that was just felt like it was massive. Just went on forever. Still waiting. All right, quarter of the way there. <laughs> Not prepared for that. I'm injured. Fuck. Holy fuck. Travel in your victory, my friend. And that is why I use Hydra, because sometimes. There's just no going toe to toe with some dudes. I am unstoppable. So the Treasure Goblins, uh, hopefully this patch comes to console versions. Blizzard, please. Um, Blizzard just released a big patch for this game on PC uh, with a lot of new content. One of those things includes uh, the Treasure Goblins, whatever you call them. Um, that portal that they'll try to open to escape through. Uh, sometimes, occasionally, when you kill them now, that portal will open. Shit. And you can go through and uh, try to loot the treasure room, but apparently there will be some really hard shit in there, too. So you don't just get to go in and have at it. You still gotta fight for it. Which sounds really cool, and I hope that comes to the PS4 version, please. Um, they're also doing some, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a seasonal mode, which, uh, if I remember right, they did do in Diablo 2. It's been a long time. Basically, uh, every season you create a new character, has a completely separate stash, and, uh, you know, all your resources are 
set to zero. No help. And uh, you level it up, and there's unique items purely for seasonal characters. Didn't see that coming, did you? And um, after the season's over, um, your character joins up with the list of your other standard characters. But you get the you get to keep the uh, unique items. They're now in your possession, even though the season is over. And uh, for those of you that you know say, "Oh, I, I don't want to start a new character every season," uh, apparently the items will get added to the loot rotation after the season is over. Just uh, you know, the people that play a seasoned character get first dibs. So that's kind of cool. There was a huge list of uh, tweaks to all the classes. Um, way too many for me to go over. It was very long. Um, some new Nephilim Rift stuff. A new zone, uh, some sewers. Um, that they wanted to have in the Reaper of Souls expansion, but uh, basically they weren't able to fit it in there before release. So they released it as part of the patch as a rift. Uh, I want to say there was some other cool stuff, but uh, I'm forgetting now. Anyways, point being, it, look, it looked like a pretty cool patch, and uh, I really hope it does come to the consoles, because, you know, it would be nice to see that content. Especially since this is my preferred way to play this game. Um, I never thought I would ever say Diablo would be better on a controller, but you know what? It's better on a fucking controller. It just is. In other news, I will probably be uh, taking a little break from doing recordings um, after I finish this game uh, until Destiny, which is not too far away. Today's the 27th, comes out the 9th. I'm um, just spending some time with my family. I actually play some games with them. Why didn't I teleport through the fucking wall? Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Shit. Oh, thank God. I love you, Hydra. Anyways, yeah, you know, if you've uh, watched some of my other Diablo videos, you know that my wife and I loved playing this game together. My kids also enjoyed it. And, uh... When I do these recordings, whatever console I'm playing on is in my office. There's no way for us to all play in here together, so... Oh, shit. Gonna move the PS4 to the family room so we can all kind of have some playtime together before I get completely absorbed into destiny. I'm injured. My Shit. Lifted. Make sure I didn't miss anybody on this bridge. I'm sure I've passed a few enemies. But that's okay. If this goes on too long and I run out of shit to talk about, I might just uh, edit it to the uh, the end of the. You know, come back at like 99%. Get those final kills and chase down the boss. 
Fucking A. I guess I need to go in the, uh... The door to the next level. Uh, alright. Let's see. Take a quick look over here and make sure we're not missing any dudes. Oh, hello. Oh well. I can't pick up anything else. I need oh, to fuck. It's all pretty much junk. Go. I had a spell to make myself run faster. God, that would be nice. I know I could use my teleport to move a little bit faster, but uh, Torment 6, I don't really like doing that. On the lower level difficulties, it's not such a big deal. But I tend to get caught in my pants down when I try to do that in the higher difficulties. Not ready yet. That's a powerful foe over there. Why am I not hitting him? Fiend arrows, that's interesting. Legendary quiver. Cool. Sweet. Man, I wish I could just run like this all the fucking time. Come on, Blizzard. Put that as a stat on a legendary item. I will love you forever. No, it's gone. More time. I need healing. Oh, fuck. I just walk right into a fucking laser.
am so good. I astound myself. Still waiting. Uh, way to eat a fireball to the face. Saw it coming, I just stood there. Oh god. Need more time. Still waiting. Did I get them? <laughs> Guess so. Not ready yet. Uh, 87%. We're getting there, guys. Need more time. Still waiting. Love it when she turns shit into chickens. Not ready yet. The Rift Guardian is here. All right, fucker. Need more time. Oh shit, there he is. You dare attack me! So, uh, that purple thing, 
uh, I think is your bloodstones. Because, uh, you know, last video I spent a bunch of them and I got more. Plan Captain Crimson's trimmings. Cool. Anyways, uh, yeah, the loot from these rifts is pretty good. I usually make a lot of money, get some good items, uh, and they're pretty fun. So, there you go. That is Bounties and Rifts. Turning to town. And uh, let's take a quick look, see if I'm forgetting anything. Oh yeah, and then you turn it into Auric. Um, do be careful. Make sure, you know, especially if you're playing with a group, make sure everybody's done. Because uh, once you turn it into him, it closes. Even if you're in there, it will boot you out. So, yeah, what was it? 25, 30 seconds. Uh, and it's a done deal. So, make sure you get all your loot. Uh, that you're done exploring, whatever, because once you talk to him, it's over. Don't be shy. Such a brave soul. Oh. Could go for, holy shit, 20. God damn, lady. Charge more for a necklace than you do for a fucking weapon? Uh, I guess I'll go for a neck piece because uh, I have a few pretty good weapons, you know, aside from this bullshit one I'm using right now. I've seen better. Oh, that's fucking awful. Eh. I've seen better. Come on. I've seen better. God, I hate you. Are you fucking kidding me? Too expensive. Anyways, yeah, don't expect any kindness from her. She won't show you any. Hmm. Pants are cheap. But I'm pretty happy with what I got right now. Anyways, I think... I think that's everything. Um, you know... I'm just, I'm going to go to the last, oh, I haven't done this yet, I haven't cleared an entire map of everything. I'm going to kill this boss, I will cut to it, um, you know, I'll go through the dungeon and I'll just cut immediately to it so you guys don't have to watch me do this, and um, see what happens when you do everything on the map. Still waiting. Anyways, so I'll see you when I get there, and then we'll see if there's, oh shit, anything extra. For 100%ing a, a map. Assuming I can make it to the fucking boss. Alright, guys, here we are at the chamber of uh, the Spider Queen. Let's do it. Ooh, hello. Another one of these. Hmm. It's okay. It's the second one of those I've gotten today. I am returning. All right. Let's go see if there's anything special for clearing out the entire map. Uh, don't 
don't see anybody to talk to. I guess not. All right. That's it then. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun making it for you. Please do remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Your support means a lot to me. And I love hearing from you guys. I'll see you next time.